Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Catherine and welcome back to the Cinema Rosa. Now, it's been a couple of years in the making, obviously, and this is actually the full release of a game um, called the Cinema Rosa, obviously. Um, now, the this is, um, I, for those who remember, I have actually played a couple of, of early versions of the game and they are on my channel in the um, playlist, the Cinema Rosa. And they were early demo versions. And this is actually the full release. So, yay. Uh, developers were very kind of it and um, gave a um, a code of, on Steam. It is on Steam. Um, it did uh, do a successful um, Kickstarter uh, campaign. And um, finally, we're looking at full release. So, um, there is no, there is an options menu. But there's no option to actually adjust the sound. So hopefully the sound is okay. And we can actually close out now, which is good. So we're going to start a new game. Let's see how we go. Right, so WASD, B and F. So you get to the other controls. And let's go. So that was the intro to the game. Um, alrighty. Let's get started. Turn the volume down a bit. I walk at night in the cinema rosa, basking in the afterglow of our time together, sifting through notes and memories. is absolutely impressive, sort of indicative of the actual experience itself. If you have played this game or, or looked at this game before, you'll understand. I didn't notice that, actually. It's not like ash or... Hmm. Okay. So you can't zoom in. A monster that terrorized the world. Interesting. Can you look in the dumpsters? I don't think you can look in the dumpsters, but it's an interesting environment. Looking at the graphics and the model cars. But it's got electric lights. I don't know. Ah, I thought that was a lot then. Alright. So, site safety notice and authorised entrance to be visited. Construction in progress, safety helmets must be worn, blah blah blah. Well, we're going in. Okay, so we are in the cinema. We've got some buds there, we've got some wine. Door. Can't open the other doors yet, I don't think. That is something. Hmm. Um. I don't know what they are. It's interesting. Graphics there. Uh, drinks, machines, by the looks of it. We've got. Yeah, popcorn dispenser. Okay. So. Now there are some slides here, so we'll open it up. Computers don't work without electricity. I think this is electricity, so we'll just open that up. There we go. Oh, fine. Right. So we. Blue screen. That's always fun, isn't it? Blue screen of death. I love it. Um, alright. Hello? Nothing. Okay. Alright, fine. Now that's a nice photo. Nothing white. We'll go into any... What is that? Um... Ticket software. Love affair. Screen one. Date. First of first, 2010. Program time, 8.30 or 9.30? can't remember. CF row 14. Row F seat 14. Oh, one of those. 
Pimpin Prince. Yes, it's already there. Okay, so we. Yeah. Yeah, so why does the phone doesn't work? Okay. Can't pick that up. Cool. Combo meal. One large popcorn, one large drink. Remember to print their tickets. Alrighty. The newspaper here. Is that going to say anything? Let's see what we've got here. Late news. Something on the news, something or other. Cinema Rosa closes down. Bob Whitting. I think. Once called the spookiest cinema of all America, the Cinema Rosa closes permanently yesterday following a rocky and at times for much less period in business. The trouble began several months ago with a fire broke out in the projection room, prompting an evacuation of the Art Deco area building. Firefighters rushed to the scene and were able to contain the blaze. Cinema M Managing Director Jim Whittemore Relations, maybe? Hmm, okay. Alleged foul play. A cinema just doesn't go off in smoke. I demand a full investigation. Whittemore is said to lose millions if insurance companies never pay. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't expect the cost. Never pay. Refuse to answer questions when called by the late news. We do not respond to non-existent claims, or as representative said. After refusing to give out their name. Although most of the cinema survived the fire intact, it has decayed under neglect over the months and several visitors were raiding the premises. The place is now littered with overturned tables and chairs, ripped chip packages and torn down posters. I've just lost everything, Whittemore said, told reporters yesterday, but I cannot afford to rebuild it. I'm not sure what to do. The cinema remains closed for the public. I cannot escape the feeling of inescapable irony. Local man Patrick Bates yesterday was found in, in a state of absolute despair at the prospect of facing a wide variety of ironic memes on the internet. Okay. Finally afternoon. I cannot escape the feeling of inescapable irony. <laughs> The told reporters lying in the kitchen table crying herself to sleep. Ah, oh, good eye. Alright, so we've got the blue spoon of death. What's that? Description nylon rope. Why would a. Why would you need a nylon rope? Okay. Weird. I'll go through there. No, that's not. Any other. Okay, this is open. Oh, did we go through this door yet? Nope. Okay, so we've got Last Days of Pompeii 2. Mm -hmm. No, Pompeii. Pom Photodrama. Dracula. Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, I, get, I gather not to be confused with the... Um, I don't know. Could be. Um, this door would have checked the press tours at the Cinema Rosa, Thursday midnight till 2am. Ooh. Um, I would like to have that implemented in the game. Hint, hint. Um, thank you. Nice, nice. Um, um, hallway thing. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That looks like we could open up something. And a goose. Hello. Very funny, Tim. Move this back to storage. Haha, <laughs> very cute. Very cute. Alright, can we go in here? Yes, we can. So, what do we have in here? We have another newspaper. Cinema Rosa opens new dance hall. Brian Smith. The Cinema Rosa opened a new dance hall Sunday at a unique 1920s flair to the casual cinema going experience. And wasn't too far off. The dance hall was the branch child of the cinema's owners. Brainchild. Like branch child? I don't know. With film posters dating, dating, dotting the walls and piano music playing out from the gallery, the hall is an experience not to be missed along other attractions to the city. Perfect for the date night out with that special someone. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, is this theater we just went in Torrance? I wonder if they're actually... Real movies. 
White screen. Okay. Um, gonna look up. We've got wine glasses and wine bottles. Uh, can we click on the wine bottles? No clue. The butler did it, or did he? Hmm. Interesting. Big sleeper. A birdish wine with a hint of new war. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to do wines. I don't. Ooh. What's this? Oh, that's interesting. Do you remember this? We were dancing on the beach and we were laughing so hard we could barely breathe. Imagine if we could go back to relive those days. Oh, that's a nice photo. I like that. Who was taking the photo? Who was taking the photo? Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Flashlight. We really need the flashlight. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's some figures. Hello. Can we interact with you? No, I can't. <laughs> you're dancing. Ah, you're cool. I like it. I like it. And here is so you have the piano. Oh, what's this? We never met again. Music school. Reading. What? Reading PA. J.S. Unger Music House. Yeah. Never, we never, we refrain. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Um. Okay, so let's see what happens. Use zero to. Oh, move to the. Yeah, I realise. Oh, F, yeah. Very good. Use zero to nine, press enter to exit. Mm hmm. So, zero. Oh. actually know the answer to this so we've got purple purple and i got purple no wrong one purple purple there we go nice music score that's copyrighted or just made for the game What's on? Let's put my duck over here. Alright. Madam something or other. I uh, can't read that. Wish and grapes, only the finest. Okay. Um Alright, so we've got those two dancing around. Picture frame, something is missing. Okay, so we've got some pictures here. Torn pictures. Gramophone, doesn't work. Uh, torn photo. Uh, okay, another torn photo. Okay, what have we got in here? Another photo, another. Uh, can we click on it? Yes. What is this? Your parents think the idea is insane. Why in? Why waste a first-class education on the cinema of all things? I think you should ignore them. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's a risk, of course, but nothing in there. Okay. Um. Anything else? Uh, okay. So. Okay, so we've got four torn pieces of paper, two, oh, yep, yeah, and oh. Nice. Oh, okay. Our best friends are gone. Okay. And let's grab a phone. We'll just turn it Turn it off. Turn it off. Uh, turn it off. Okay, alright, so we'll leave that playing. Flashlight is on. This is interesting. Very interesting. Portal to another world. Ooh. Do you remember when we first met? 
It was out by the Caroline docks and the ships were sailing in. The pigeons were chasing us around, while your eyes shone like so many late night dancers. Sometimes I relive that moment in my head, watching you at the wharf as you leave, ceaselessly. I can't escape the feeling that everything would have gone differently had I talked to you back then. Yeah, well, it happens. It's always good to talk. And like I said, I hope the sound is more balanced. More balanced. Okay, so... That looks like the lobby. Mm, okay, alright. Well, we'll leave that as is, I guess. Don't know why that was... Why would I show the image of the lobby? Oh, that music is loud. Alright, let's go in here. Well, I picked up a film reel. Yeah. Scene London. We look at the Westminster Abbey and Towers of Parliament. Nice. So the music may be a little bit... Oh, the music stop. No. Okay, so the music may be a little bit loud, and I hope it's not that loud. It's a bit of history of London, so I'm going to stick to this. And if you want to skip it, you can. Because it might loop. Arch 
door wants Trafalgar Square. Nice amount of alliteration there. I can't read what it says on the top there. That's okay. The new monument of Captain Scott who died like a true Briton near the South Pole. vanished archway temple bar restaurant in Fleet Street they pass Cheshire cheese and glimpse the great dome of st. Paul's okay Fleet Street another street made famous famous not not probably not made famous but famous in Monopoly Fleet Street is that red or yellow I don't know they see with surprise that Bank of England isn't much to look at. Okay. Just looks like any normal place, really, I guess. At least the music stopped. Once again, I'm sorry if it was out of balance, but there's no way to adjust the music. They do not enter the front door of the Bank of England. Why not? Is it because they note the politeness of the policeman? Yes, politeness does not denote weakness. God, they look so smart back then too. I call smartly even the kids in the background. <clears throat> they look towards the mansion house where the Lord Mayor presides. <coughs> hmm. And it looks like almost like the Colosseum, the, whoops. See in London, part three, the Tower of London to St. Paul's. Okay. Hmm. Tower of London. I love the archaeology back then, the stonework and the masonry. It's amazing how some of it has stood the test of time. The old bricks, the buildings, and watch the tom Tommies drilling in the moat. What are Tommies? Ah, Tommy's is in guards, sergeants. What the tourists see from the tops of the buses. Tower Bridge interests them. Yeah, Tower Bridge has always been an interest. I'd love to see that in person one day, maybe. Mm. Very nice. So is that the Cathedral of St. Paul's? The Great Fire of 1666 destroyed 13,000 houses is commemorated by the moment of monument of Fish Street Hill. Fish Street Hill. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. That's a big building. Man, that's a big building. It'd be dwarfed underneath that. But the great fire spread to fishy smell spread the fishy smells of famous language of neighbouring Billingsgate. Billingsgate? Hmm. Okay. This is quite fascinating, this. 
the guild hall where the Lord Mayor's banquets are held. <coughs> hmm. I like that. A bust of John Milton marks the place where he was born in Bread Street in 1608. John Milton. Hmm. Okay. The famous church of St. Mary de la Beau lifts its tower of a busy Cheapside. Cheapside? Hmm. God, I wonder how much research the person who created this game went into to get this information. Bow bells hang in the tower. If you're born within the sound of them, you're a cockney. Okay. What does that mean? We look down on fog foggy London. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Still got a bit of cough. Looming high above all us, the glorious dome of St. Peter's, St. Paul's Cathedral, third largest in the world. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Third largest cathedral. So I wonder what the first and second is. Hmm. If that's not the first. Seen London Park for Windsor Castle and Royal Close Ups. Windsor Castle. Hmm, yeah. That's where the Queen resides. The grandest home of the sovereigns of Great Britain. <gasps> ah, very nice. I like that. I like it. Again, the architecture just astounds me because they're talking about brick and stone buildings. Tall hats and short, short Eton jackets were still worn by the boys of Eton. Okay. Is that a school? Yeah, it looks like a school. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dolphin neck up. Oh, that's cute. Abdon Court, favourite residence of Henry VIII, a muchly married monarch. Henry VIII, he had six wives. Don't ask me to remember them all. I know one of them. Her Royal Majesty, no, Royal Highness, the Duke of Connaught. Is it His Royal Highness comes to open something? His Royal Highness, I think, is male? I don't know. HRH, whatever that means. It's a monarch thing. I don't have time for royalty, but it fascinates me anyway. Especially ancient royalty. It's Ambulin. The US Army plays the US Navy. What? Catherine Parr. We recognise one perfectly good sport. Sir Thomas Lipton. It looks like baseball. Lipton. Iced tea, maybe? No, no. It was quite smart. The London crowd does not know much about baseball. The royal party's kindly disposed but puzzled. Okay. Gotta love a hat. Of all their hats, really. The king is coming down to meet the Yanks. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So, which king is this? King. I don't know. Don't much. Don't know much about. Well, yeah, I don't know. King, 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 king. I don't know. King George, maybe. His so Majesty appears to realise that America baseball umpire is also some. Autocrat. What? Now I did learn what autocrat meant and I can't remember what it means now. Interesting. Part one. 
Okay, well that was a short and interesting, well I found it interesting anyway, video of the history of London. Very nice. So this opened up. So we've got in here. We've got I have kept this diary hidden away from you, locked inside the Cinema Rosa. You're probably already trawling through my things searching for clues. I knew you'd come looking for me. You always do. It started as a project between the two of us, opening a cinema. I remember that day so clearly now. I had a plan to meet you in Oxford that afternoon. The idea was to explore the library together, chase down the last remaining copy of Tolstoy's diary. Did I never actually notice it? What was I going to say? But to have this move to here, from where it was before, I mean, somebody else is in here. Very interesting. Okay, so what have we got? We've got popcorn bucket and large cup. And I think it's a. Ooh. Wait, that looks different. Hmm. Okay, cool. Interesting. Alright. So let us, there's a pedestal here, I wonder what's here. Oh, there's a ticket, cinema ticket. On the way out, we stumbled on this old book on Art Deco cinemas. It was the perfect project, a way for us to live out a hundred different lives together. Yeah, okay, so what have we got? We've got a popcorn bucket, which I think goes here, and drink which goes here. Oh. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Even then there were warning signs. The fire in the projection room. The accident in the lobby. The newspapers began calling the place haunted. Maybe they were onto something. Remember August. Good God, London weather is awful. Missing you to death. He's got sick on, sick on the train and had the whole carriage watching me. Strange line is an empty huh? Strange life is strange lives on empty faces will explain what? That's weird. I can go there. Some more wine balls. Interesting, what's that? Nothing. Okay, so we got Popcorn bucket. Computer still doesn't work. Okay, let's follow here. What have we got? Anything here? Nope. Vending machine. Hello? Okay. Ooh, big screen. Big screen. No, I can't. That's H. That's locked. No, and no jumping action. Um, that's E fifteen. That's F fifteen. What was the ticket? I think it was F fourteen. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. I've written out these directions. Read them carefully, so there won't be any mistake. Darling, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. July 1st, 5 o'clock, 102nd floor, top of the Empire State Building. Yes. That's it right there. It's the tallest building in the world. You can't miss that. It's the nearest right. thing to heaven we have in New York. You sure you take the elevator? <laughs> well, until 
until we meet again. Take care of yourself. The next week we saw the opening of a film. Imagine that. Seeing a premiere in your very own cinema. I remember that vacant stare you had on the way out. Like your mind was playing out ideas in some distant universe. Okay, hello? Who are you? Okay, what's this? Pills? I miss the way you laughed back then. You sound, you should, you would smile every time you saw me. It was infectious. Hmm, interesting. What have we got here? Work. Ross. Work. Rosters. All the people who worked here. Hmm. What have we got? Uh, matches? <clears throat> it all comes back to those late night stints in the office. You had this idea that if you worked hard enough, you could become someone else. Someone better. Everything became a sale. Your voice, your movement, your belief system. Anything that wasn't tied down was sold off. Until I could no longer recognize you. Is that you talking? That's a nice photo. Nice painting. 1971. August 25th, 1971. So August 25th is circled, also September 12th is circled too. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I've got some matches. Um, okay, we're back in the lobby. I'm guessing the matches go to the fireplace. Thought I saw somebody else in there. Hmm. Fireplace in here. Months passed until things got worse. I was away on business and when I came back you could barely look at me. I saw the fire in your eyes, smoke filling up the projection room, everything we had worked towards collapsing in a single afternoon. Someone had disabled the fire alarms. That was the first time we went to Michael. He was recommended by a friend. Michael worked in this grey, simple office out west, with nothing on the walls. It somehow needed more colour to it. So, there is nothing outside this room. Work hard. Give up on all desire. Asking for more is entitlement. Entitlement is worse than greed. Never stop working. There is nothing outside this room. I begin to suspect that there is something outside this room, but everything keeps on telling me otherwise. Really? Like that, maybe? Phone? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's this? The phone rang today. A woman's voice was on the line. She kept repeating the same few words. But what does it all mean? March 16, 2008. A man's mind began to rot when he cannot colour his lot. From the lights of Haywood, O'Hara and the Devil's Lair to the colour of a woman's hair. From a line which cannot be crossed to a cause appealing as lives are lost. From a fish that leads him astray to the last of words I shall say. From the heart, I do, heart do I implore to be careful of what you have just read. See, it's almost poetic and still until the very last bit. All right, well, I'm going to leave that here. Um, I don't know how long it's been, how long this episode is, and I don't know how long it's got left. So um, this, like I said, is the full version or full release of the Cinnamon Rosa. So far, it's looking really, really good. Um, really enjoyed it, actually. I like the, the touches and the narrator's voice is getting more and more agitated and um, as the time goes on. And... This riddle here, 
it spoke about color of the room so I'm going to see this riddle speaks of a certain color I'm going to work out what the color is next um all right so I'm going to leave that here and I'll see you on the next episode of the cinema rosa catch you next time bye